This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Somebody asked me why don't I use Linux over OpenBSD and I think this is a very interesting question to answer but before jumping to the answer I would like to clarify two things with you. First of all I do in fact use Linux almost every day but my operating system of choice is OpenBSD. The reason that I like to use OpenBSD is stated on why do I like OpenBSD video. I, I link that one on the top right corner in case that you are interested to know about my reasoning. The second thing that I want to clarify is that OpenBSD is a general purpose operating system. In fact, you do not find anything on the OpenBSD official website that has stated OpenBSD is suitable only for servers, firewalls, or routers. Of course, OpenBSD shines in those areas, but that doesn't ne negate the fact that OpenBSD can be very well used as the desktop operating system. However, at the same time, I am not denying the challenges that OpenBSD as desktop has, and exactly that brings me to the answer of this question. OpenBSD has many challenges on desktop and that exactly makes it a fun operating system to use. Personally, I like to solve problems and fiddling around OpenBSD challenges makes the operating system fun and it scratches that itch for me. At the same time, I am learning quite a bit when I'm using OpenBSD and I actually put my knowledge in the actual use. Even though that I am a very curious person by nature, I do not like to sit down and only learn through the theory or reading the man pages or documentation without actually getting my hands dirty. I would like to put my knowledge into the practice as soon as, as, as soon as I learn it, otherwise I keep forgetting those and there is no point to fill my brain with something that I never use. And that's basically the reason on why I keep using OpenBSD instead of Linux. I try to overcome those challenges that OpenBSD has by constraining myself to use OpenBSD only and find a way or a solution, somebody may argue that using Linux also gives the same experience. Well, not exactly for me. I have been using Linux around 19 years now and I have seen enough about Linux. I have seen that they changed the audio system from OSS to also to Pulse and now it comes something like Pipewire. And believe me, when I hear about Pipewire, I am not in interested. Not that because Pipewire is not an impressive piece of code, because I have seen all the challenges, all the problems, and I have dealt with those, and I do not see anything that is new for me, at least there. The second thing is that I believe everything is provided uh, nowadays when you are using Linux. You can just simply do sudo apt install or sudo pacman whatever and install the latest and greatest software at, and that is super easy. That makes it for me a bit boring and in my estimation I am going to make this bold statement that for me Linux is the new Windows. However, many people may like actually to keep using Linux and that's entirely fine. They may find different challenges for example i've seen many youtube creators they actually enjoy quite a lot by keep changing the window managers or keep changing the terminal emulators this and that and that's entirely fine by me i do not have any objections but simply those stuff are not for me and this is not to say that i i look down on those people it's just like we have a different interest in different areas I am a type of person that I like the baseline stability. Not in terms of the software stability, but in terms of things that are not keep changing constantly. For example, I have been using i3 window manager as my tiling window manager since 2015. And since then I haven't changed anything. And prior to that one, I, ha I, I didn't even use window manager. And in my defense, the reason that I keep using same applications is because of the familiarity. I do not want to keep changing applications and keep learning new key bindings, this and that. I think those are counterproductive for me and I do not enjoy that. Personally, I believe that if I have a relatively stable or familiar workflow, then I can actually put the spare time on something better for myself and basically try to solve a problem out there. For example, running the Docker on OpenBSD. Of course, this has been solved since 2017. 
there are many articles written prior to even me creating this video but i believe that going through the process and basically learning about vmm and docker makes it very interesting and worthwhile and i do believe the experience is much more pleasurable for me rather than let's say customizing my window manager or switching to a new window manager above that i would like to take up the challenges that haven't been solved yet for example playing drm content on openbsd i think I think that's an interesting challenge to take and, and basically this is a very entertaining part of it even though that it may end up in with a failure. Believe me, I, I only create videos about the success cases that I do and I have not uh, so far created a video about the me being a bit frustrated or actually failing at something for example around a year ago i wanted to port mysql workbench as well as vs code to openbsd and i failed miserably in those areas however i didn't record any videos about those but nonetheless the experience was absolutely fantastic for me i learned quite a bit in the process and to be honest i had hectic nights but i actually it was fun and i think the ex i liked that experience again it might not be for everybody but i think openbsd scratches that is for me perfectly that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i would like to take a moment to thanks patreon contributors grok with 30 generous dollar a stellar orbit with 20 generous dollar openbsd maximalist alexander m openbsd enthusiast dm john collins and liquid mobius